So I'm going to show you how to do this question again, and I want to show you how to do different variations of this question because this one's actually a really convenient one, but if we change the number to something slightly different, it might change the way you look at it. So everyone, let's take a look at this question here. What day was it 28 days ago? And we know that today is Tuesday. Okay, so did anybody here try doing this? Okay, cool. Today is Tuesday, so I'm going to put Tuesday, and I'm going to say that this is Monday, Sunday, that's uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Did any of us say that, okay, cool, today's Tuesday, and you started doing this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. What day was it 28 days ago, guys? If I did it that way, I see a lot of us saying no, some of us saying yes. But if we did this, what day would it be? Gotcha. If we did that, yeah, that would be uh, Tuesday 28 days ago. That would be the answer. So, you know, very quickly we have our answer to the question. But everybody, is that strategy always going to be effective? Is that strategy always going to be effective? No, it's too long, right? It's too long. Well, what if it wasn't 28 days ago? What if it was a much bigger number? Does anybody want to suggest a number? Give me a number. 42, that, that's still pretty easy. 200, I like 200. 454, that's a little demented. Let's keep it at 200. So let's go ahead and do, instead of 28 days ago, let's go ahead and say what day was it? 200 days ago. Let's try that out again, everybody. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I quit. I quit my job. I'm going to just, no, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? So here's the thing, my party people. Have you ever been in a similar situation? Have you ever done a problem where it seemed really easy? It just took a long time like this. Have you ever done a problem that just takes a long time? And just like this free YouTube video right here, my Math Party people, I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake and a free math class every week, once a week for two hours. Click the link over here to sign up and get started and keep raising that score. Let's get back to the action. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and give you a nice little secret. Guys, whenever there's a problem that seems like it's really easy, it's just really long, a lot of steps, but it's super easy, I can guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time, there's going to be a shortcut that you can take. Let me show you this shortcut here. Everyone, here's the fact of the matter. If we're dealing with a weekly calendar. What do we know about the number of days in a week? Right, there's seven days in a week. I think all of us can speak confidently when we say that. So therefore, if there are seven days in a week, that means that every seven days, we repeat the day, right? So if today's Tuesday, then seven days from now, it'll be Tuesday again. And Tuesday again, every seven days. So if we look at something like 28 days, well, seven can go into 28. If we do this, watch. Seven into 28, that's a perfect four. Seven goes into 28 four perfect times, and there is no remainder. No remainder right now let's take a look at that 200 let's take a look at that if we take a look at that 200 my party people look at something very 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 interesting that's about to happen very interesting if i go ahead and divide 7 into 200 let's see what happens 7 goes into 200 how many times well let's see 7 goes into 20 twice, take away the 14, you got six, bring the zero down, seven goes into 60 eight times, because seven times eight, 56, so that'll be eight right there, minus 56, and we have a remainder of four. Four is the remainder. So my party people, here's what this means. Pay attention. Don't worry about writing anything with your pencils. Don't worry. This is going to be recorded. This is going to be on the website. You're good. 
what this means is that if you're trying to go back 200 days, well, you're going to go back 28 weeks because that's how many full weeks you go back. So everybody, you can actually ignore this because that's just going to put you right there back at Tuesday. But here you have four days left over or remaining to go through those first two. Uh, what is this? The first 172 days or excuse me, seven times 28, the first 196 days, excuse me. That's just going to be you know, same day Tuesday. But the last four days that you have left over, you start off on Tuesday and you go back. One, two, three, and four. You don't have to count all 200. You should have to count what the remainder is after you cycle through full weeks. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.